Sarah Ophelia Colley was born in 1912 to a prosperous lumber magnate and his wife. The couple called their daughter Ophelia, and as she grew into a young woman, much of the family's fortune was lost when the stock market crashed in 1929. After graduating from a prestigious girls' college, Ophelia set out to be an actress, but she settled for a job as a community theater director. Ophelia traveled to rural southern cities and staged plays. While she was on the road in North Alabama, she met an elderly woman whose amusing country talk and mannerisms inspired her to create a comic character that eventually became known as Minnie Pearl. She first performed the Minnie Pearl character in 1939 with her signature hat with the price tag still attached. The very next year, she was discovered by radio executives in Nashville, and she was thrust onto the Grand Ole Opry stage as Minnie Pearl. Throughout the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, Minnie Pearl's popularity grew as she continued to perform at the Grand Ole Opry. She also began to make television appearances, which led to her being recruited for Hee Haw in 1969. Her country bumpkin persona lended itself perfectly to an idea that two brothers had for a chicken restaurant. Seeing the success of Kentucky Fried Chicken, John J. Hooker and his brother Henry set out to follow their example. First, they secured Minnie Pearl as their spokesperson. Then they hired a Chicago-based food lab to come up with a recipe. Then they opened their first restaurant in Nashville. The intent was always to scale the business quickly, and so franchising was immediate. They lured potential franchisees in with the face of Minnie Pearl and free publicity from Nashville newspapers. On Sunday, June 18, 1967, the Tennessean ran a front-page story announcing the establishment of Minnie Pearl's Fried Chicken. In the story, John Jay predicted that the restaurant, which had not yet sold a single drumstick, would have 500 stores by the end of 1970. This hype had people clamoring to buy franchises. By February of 1968, Minnie Pearl's Chicken had sold nearly 300 franchises, with only five open and operating. It was then that the company announced its intention to go public. The initial public offering sent Minnie Pearl's Chicken stock from $20 to $40 a share, making the Hooker brothers a lot of money. With this money, they immediately decided to expand. Within weeks of the stock offering, they announced plans for another restaurant chain, named after gospel singer Mahalia Jackson. And before that news had sunk in, the company announced it was starting a third chain, called Minnie Pearl's Roast Beef. By the end of 1968, Minnie Pearl's still had fewer than 40 restaurants open, almost none of which were making a profit. There were also more than 100 under construction, and another 300 in some stage of development. Between the construction plans, the real estate deals, equipment purchases, and franchise sales, the company was hemorrhaging money. The first hint that something was wrong came when Minnie Pearl's chicken restaurants began to open and customers began to taste the food. The fact that neither brother knew how to cook great fried chicken or that they had never run a restaurant business should have been a red flag. John Jay was never concerned with the recipe because he felt like it would be easy to fix, but customers who first tried the food never returned. The lack of restaurant experience began to take its toll. Some restaurants were closed, others were losing money, and the stock price slid lower and lower. Then John J. Hooker decided to run for Tennessee governor, 
and their focus shifted away from the restaurants to the campaign trail. At the same time, the Security and Exchange Commission began investigating the company for their reported earnings the previous year. The company reported it had lost $5.5 million over the first half of the year, but the investigation revealed they lost an incredible $31 million in 1969. This revelation ruined any chance John Jay had to become governor, and it sent his stock price down to just 44 cents. Although Minnie Pearl was embarrassed to have her name attached to the failure, she did come out making a profit, having sold her stock before the losses started to rack up. The chain that bore her name had to liquidate all of their assets to pay down debt, so all of the locations were closed, and Minnie Pearl's chicken had failed within three years. Minnie Pearl would go on to spend 22 years on the television show Hee Haw. John J. Hooker's career was also far from over. He became the publisher of the Nashville Banner, and also tried his hand at another restaurant called Hooker's Hamburgers, but Minnie Pearl's chicken continued to haunt him, having ruined his reputation. Minnie Pearl died in 1996 at the age of 83, and John J. Hooker died in 2016 at the age of 85. Their short-lived restaurant may not have become another KFC, but the story of Minnie Pearl's chicken is still worth remembering. <laughs>